What is a dream? For Team USA, if fulfilling theirs meant a lifetime of training for just a few moments on the world stage. But a dream unfulfilled is still only a dream. And for John Roethlisberger, that dream had to wait for another day. I would say that this just about does it for Team USA. Lee Shrao Schwung came to America and with him he brought the dreams of a nation. But the defending world champions collapsed and settled for silver, one step shy of fulfilling their goal. Now that team is only a memory, and in their place is a new Team China. A team searching for a leader to fulfill their vast potential. Is this the day he has discovered? The U.S. has a leader. Can he and his teammates finally feel the glow of international success? From Cincinnati, Ohio, Tom Hammond, Elfie Schlegel, Tim Dagen, and Beth Ruyak, where warm-ups are underway for the International Team Championships. Each team, the U.S., China, and Romania, with some fond memories and some ghosts remaining from the Atlanta Olympics. Now, this will be strictly a team event. There will be no individual all-around winner in this afternoon's competition. There will be six rotations overall. Each team is composed of six members, Five of them will compete on each apparatus, and four of those scores will count. And first up from the United States on floor exercise, Steve McCain. Well, Tom, in recent years, after each Olympic Games, there has been a major revamping of the rules. The result of that will be much lower scores throughout the competition. Tim, that's because the men now have to increase their bonus in each exercise that much more difficult to get to a 10.0. Big skill right there, double twisting double, but you saw his foot stepped just out of bounds. That'll be a tenth of a point. That tenth of a point, though, in the grand scheme means very little. Interesting, right here, he's not even tumbling, but this sequence is worth more in that bonus area that Elfie mentioned than all of his tumbling combined. Four tenths back, right there. Last year, Steve just missed making the U.S. Olympic team and uh, took a trip to Africa, which has put his gymnastics in a whole new perspective for him, approaching it with a fresh and much more enthusiastic outlook these days. Yeah, Tom, you said the Olympic trials was such a disappointment it really added fuel to the fire he's ready to come back his sights are set on national championships this year and also the world championships his dismount not bad small little step on that landing but a solid routine so the U.S. off to a good start with good start McCain's right. floor exercise hey man. now each team competes on a different it's apparatus and up first for the Romanians on the pommel horse, Christian Leirich. And if I had to pick an event that would be strongest or most secure for the Romanians to start on on, it would certainly be pommel horse. Good start. You know, Tom, already off balance just a little bit. Had to change his routine. But he fought to uh, keep it going, didn't he? Yeah, this is great. This is what you try to teach the younger athletes. No matter what happens, just keep going. Ooh. 
you know, Romania really knows that this is their event. This is a chance for them to capitalize and, and get some really big scores to lead the competition after the first round. No doubt about it. Good routine there for the Romanians. And the Chinese will open the competition on the still rings. And first up for the Chinese, Zhao Qin. And you know, Tom, the way that you get all of these bonus points that we'll be talking about throughout the competition on still rings, you get them by being strong, doing tremendous strength skills one after another. That brings in the biggest bonus. And the rings were the beginning of the undoing of the Chinese team in Atlanta. Their team leader, Li Xiaoshuang, had a disastrous performance and it went downhill from there at the Olympics. Remember though, strength is the key here. We're looking for perfectly horizontal positions. He'll do four elements in a row. Very, very difficult gymnastics right here. Not done. Iron cross just a little bit low there, but this young man is very strong. And Tim, typically it's very hard to score high on this event, but it's all about strength combinations as we've seen in this routine. You need to swing both ways and then of course the dismount. Not bad. And let's check the scores now. First for Steve McCain on his floor exercise, 8.80. Now don't be alarmed, folks. That's actually not that bad of a score. Larry checks on score 9.650 on the pommel horse. But remember, pommel horse, one of the strongest events for Romania and a high-scoring event in the new coat of points. And Zhao Xin on the rings, 9.4. Now Jason Getz in the United States with his floor exercise when we return to Cincinnati. NBC's Sports World is brought to you by the owners, managers, and crew who proudly call the McDonald's in your neighborhood, My McDonald's. By Reebok, helping athletes perform at the top of their game. And by Columbia, healthcare has never worked like this before. Welcome back to Cincinnati, John Roethlisberger, the leader of the U.S. team, not competing on floor exercise. Remember, one member passes each apparatus. That means that Jason Gatson for the United States is up next, the youngest member at 16 years old of the U.S. team. And he is the bright new hope for Team USA. Competed as a senior in his first major competition just a few months ago at the Winter Cup and shocked himself placing seventh, earning a spot on this team. And this, this is a great exercise for Jason. I actually saw him years ago when he was just a little kid. Saw him do that skill right there, double laid out somersault. When he was about 11 years old, I couldn't believe it. I asked Jason before the competition what it was like to be competing here, and he said, no big deal. I'm just petrified, that's all. You know, Tim, as Coach Ron Brandt said, if he had one weakness, it was his consistent concentration. Well, of course, it all starts here in 97, leading to the 2000 Olympic Games. This is his first international senior competition. Where Jason really shines is in the power area. Such a strong young man. Big dismount plant here. Full twisting double somersault. Very solid, strong exercise, especially on the floor. Good job, Good job, man. And some encouragement for the youngster from his U.S. teammates. Next up, we'll move to the pommel horse, the Romanian Andreon Ianculescu. And Tom, the key to pommel horse to get the big score is how long you can stay on one pommel, skill after skill. He'll show us that right off the bat. He'll do 10 different elements in a row. It's very, very tricky. If you get just a little bit off balance, there's no way to recover. Here are all those one pommel circles. It's incredible how long he stays there. And Tim, being as tall as he is, he makes it look so easy. His lines are very pretty.
very, very strong. These athletes are tremendously well conditioned on this event. It's a great, great exercise. Well, I'll tell you, Tom, you know, we're gonna see a lot of routines where their maximum starting score is gonna be in the 9.3 to 9.5 range. Right there, that was around a 9.9 start value. That's a tremendous exercise. And the Romanian team, which showed so much promise at the 95 World Championships, uh, a disappointing ninth in Atlanta last summer. Now on still rings from China, Shang Liang, who recently celebrated his 23rd birthday. But the greatest disappointment, in my opinion, from Atlanta was the performance of the Chinese men's team. We watched them prior to the games, getting ready for the games. There was no way they shouldn't have won. They were by far the best prepared and they just didn't get the job done. And the team that we're seeing here is really a, a team of virtual no-names. Oh, I can't. Elfie, that, that is it in a nutshell right there. I was just gonna say, that mental is, toughness is what this team has lacked in the past and that, still. That mistake is exactly what happened to Li Xiaoshuang. The same type of mental error It's so frustrating because this is a team that when they put it together, they have it all. Nobody should be able to touch them, but mistakes like this is why they lose team events. Just shouldn't happen. That, that's all there is to it. Just shouldn't happen. I mean, when you, can, when you can fly through the air like that so easily, you have young boys that can do this element without a problem. I don't even know what goes wrong here. I, he doesn't know what goes wrong. I guarantee it, his coach on the sideline is going, I can't believe it. What the heck was that? And uh, once again, a rings disaster for the Chinese team. Let's check the other scores, Tao. Young Kalescu, 9.6 on the horse. And that was made possible, like we said, with that huge start value at 9.9. Jason gets a 9.0 on the floor exercise, and the Romanian team takes a slight lead in the team standings. Now Jay Thornton of the U.S. on floor exercise. And Tom, remember, because this is a team competition, we just saw the miss by the Chinese gymnast. They're able to throw out their lowest score. You got to remember that. If a team has two misses, then it becomes disastrous. This is one of Jay's stronger events. Very nicely done. That pass worth a lot of bonus. Very, very consistent performer on floor exercise. This is actually Jay's best event. I would say his highest start value of the competition. Typically somewhere around a 9.5. We'll have to see what he finishes up with here. From the University of Iowa, they call Jay a hoss because he is uh, among the bigger gymnasts, almost 5'10". Just missed the Olympic team in Atlanta last summer, but he feels that this season he has been competing better than ever. No major mistakes at all, just the dismount. Here we go. Oh, a little bit of a tuck in the air, but a very solid routine. Jay Thornton of the U.S. on floor exercise. Now to a 1996 <laughs> Olympian from Romania, Marius Orzika on horse. Hey, you know, Tom, I personally feel that he does the most difficult gymnastics in the world on pommel horse. I know some would argue with me, but he has such a tremendous variety of skills. A lot of guys like we saw Jan Kulesko did a very hard routine. Well, Orzika will also do a hard routine, but he'll show us a lot of different ways to get those bonus points. Once again, staying on that one pommel forever here. A little bit off, a little bit off, but he gets it back on. Pommel horse is all about balance. This is nice right here. Nice flare travel across the horse. This is what I mean with variety. Oh. But that's what happens, you know. You're he He's not just trying to fulfill the requirements he he really I know in his heart he knows he's one of the best in the world on pommel horse has consistently been up there and he's always pushing that envelope and when you do oh boy and this is 
This is very unusual for this young man on pommel horse. That's too bad. And uh, the disappointment evident in his uh, body language after his dismount. That is not a position that he is accustomed to being in. Two falls on the pommel horse, it's very unique. Now on rings, Chen Zhenyu of China. So once again, let's focus in on the positions of the strength elements. The judges are looking for exact positions. This should be completely level. Not bad, but a little bit high there. This one's a little bit better. Nice inverted cross. Should be a little lower there. A little bit lower and he was just a little bit short on that hold. The strength part should be held two seconds on the still reins. I tell you in warm up, so he did the nicest dismount I've seen in a long time. Beautiful double laid out somersault. Oh, just so easy. They'll take that one. And that fanfare means we have reached the end of the first rotation. Each team will move to a different apparatus now. Let's catch you up on the scores from the routines just completed. Chen on rings, 9.35. Jay Thornton's floor exercise, 9.150. And Urzika, who had that disastrous pommel routine, only an 8.7. And the Dean of U.S. Gymnast, John Roethlisberger, awaiting his first apparatus of the competition. John has had a chronically sore shoulder for quite some time now, but nothing major here. And after the first rotation, the Romanians have the lead, the Chinese second, the U.S. seven-tenths out of first place. Welcome back to Cincinnati as we review the standings and the first of six rotations is now complete. As the gymnasts get ready for the second rotation, Tim, a shaky start for the U.S. team trying to build on the momentum of Atlanta and get that respect they desire. Well, you know, they really did feel that they earned a lot of respect in Atlanta. They got together as a group last night and said, we've got to capitalize on this momentum. A little bit shaky, as you said, but not that bad of a job. The biggest mistake of the meet so far, though, is definitely Orzika on pommel horse. He's capable of getting a 9-7 on that event. When you come home with an 8-7, that hurts a lot. And Elfie, the Chinese team, much like the country itself, a sleeping giant capable of dominating, but always finding a way to sort of mess it up, just like we saw in the first rotation. Well, Tom, the history of China, when they hit, they win. When they miss, they literally give away titles, as we saw in the first event. A few misses. It's disappointing. It's frustrating, because we're really never seeing the full potential of such a great team. And as we uh, start this second rotation, the U.S. will be competing on pommel horse. And here is Gary Dink. And Tom, this is a potentially good event for Team USA. Their start value, a little bit higher on Pommel Horse than some of the other events we'll see them on later today. Gary shows us his one Pommel work. Now he does it a little bit differently than we saw from the Romanians. He puts a circle in between, but it's a little bit of a, a loophole. He actually gets just about as much credit as we saw from the Romanians because of the way the routine is choreographed. Very good coaching. Oh, hits his leg there, keeps on going. Harry Dink, who failed to make the U.S. Olympic team last year, watched opening ceremonies on television, had a big effect on him, and he's dedicated himself to making the team for Sydney. Chinese will be competing on vault. Here's Li Bo. Remember, the men only get one shot at this event, just one vault. They'll show us a vault maximum score. Best he can get is 9.4 on this vault. Pretty good, just that hop on the landing. You'll notice all day long a bunch of white lines on the mat. The gymnast needs to land basically in a box. 
has to travel a specified distance and also land perfectly square in line with the horse. He meets all those requirements, no problem. Lebo's vault score, 9.10. Now John McGreedy, U.S. Olympian in his first international meet since last summer's Olympic Games. This is actually a tricky one for John. The one place where he gets a little bit uptight, sometimes doesn't do a good straight circle. Pommel horse right there, major struggle. Can't believe he actually stayed on. And once again, you're seeing that. Four mirrors that he's just giving away to the judges. This is a new routine for John. Having to add that extra pommel work to bring in those bonus points. But he held it together, and this is very, very important. <laughs> Certainly not going to get a huge score at all, no question about that. But, you know, overall momentum as well. It's very, very important that the athlete doesn't fall off. Even though he doesn't bring in that big score, it's going to help the rest of the team guys. The Romanians are leading the competition after the uh, first rotation. Here's Christian Larich on rings. Let's take a look at this strength bar right here, right off the bat. He is well too high on that. And this skill right here, it's called a Maltese. His arms should actually be wider. They should be farther away from his body should receive at least a tenth of a point deduction on both of those elements. Doesn't quite hold it for the amount of time that he should. But that is what they do so well. They don't give anything away. They make sure they stay down on that landing. Take the time that's necessary to make sure you stick it. Deck score on horse, 8.85, and his teammate John McGreedy, a disappointing 8.30. So the U.S. falling further back and still in third place. Next, Zhao Xin on vault. And this is a great example of how the code of points, the rules have changed dramatically in men's gymnastics. This vault had the maximum start score of 9.8 for the last quadrennium. Now it's only out of 9.4. Oh. Substantial hop on the landing, he's going to take quite a severe deduction with a vault that's only out of a 9.4. Romanian team clinging to the lead, Christian Larich 9.25 on the rings. And John Roethlisberger of the U.S. awaiting his first routine. It'll be on Pommel Horse, the apparatus on which he fell in Atlanta. Welcome back to Cincinnati, where the United States, China, and Romania competing in the International Team Championships. A moment ago, you saw Zhao Xin with a big hop on the landing of his vault, and he gets a low score. Now his teammate Zhang Li Wei ready for his vault. And you should definitely see a better score here. So far, the maximum score we've seen from any vaulter has been a 9.4. He'll do a 9.8 start valued vault right here. Big vault. Oh, great vault. And we're awaiting the first appearance in this competition of John Roethlisberger. He'll be competing on Pommel Horse. And for more on John, let's go to Beth Ruyak. Well, we're looking again at a Team USA. And John Roethlisberger, for one, says it feels so good to be wearing one of these one more time. Of course, the last time for him was in Atlanta. It was a team at that time that finished fifth, just seven-tenths of a point away from a bronze medal. Destiny sometimes feels like good timing. For John Roethlisberger and his men of Team USA, 1996 felt like the perfect time. And here we are. The American men stormed into the Georgia Dome and they hit almost every set. I think from day one, and once we stepped off the floor, compulsory were like, "Yeah, we kick some ass." Day two, optionals. The men of America and their hometown crowd kicking in again, routine after routine. The power of Cheney Humphrey. 
the precision of Jair Lynch, and the incredible flight of Mihai Baiju. Suddenly, Team USA was an unexpected medal contender. But Mihai, who had flown so high, would be the first to slip. And he is... Oh. Oh. What is pressure? Asked John Roethlisberger. The man carrying the expectations of his team and his country. No safety net, his score had to count. This is gigantic. Right here, John. I would say that this just about does it for Team USA. Not the destiny John expected, and it has not stopped hurting. Personally, it just broke my heart to, to miss, not for myself, but for my teammates. And uh, it's, I think about it every day, and I don't, I don't blame myself for not winning a medal, but um, it's just, it's the hardest thing to step off that podium and look at your teammates and uh, know that you let them down. It's hard. And so still, thinking about it every day, John Roethlisberger prepares to mount the pommel horse. I think at some point John will certainly come to terms with that fall on the pommel horse. And ironically, that is what motivates him today. He wants to put Team USA on a podium at a major world or Olympic event. It's a good routine for John Roethlisberger so far. John Roethlisberger style, just getting through this routine. Certainly not reliving the nightmare of Atlanta. Nice job. And was that a sigh of relief? Uh, perhaps a step toward putting that Olympic baby. fall behind yeah. him. Go hey. win, baby, win! Good job. <laughs> One thing I've learned about John Roethlisberger is not only is he extremely passionate about his gymnastics, but his teammates, and that's why he's still the leader of this team. And you see that right there? This is remarkable. Many gymnasts would have fallen off right there, but... That's what John Roethlisberger has been all about. He is such a struggler, such a fighter. And there's his score, 9.25. Welcome back to Cincinnati. Two of the six rotations complete. China has taken over the lead, and the U.S. has dropped even further behind in third place. Now from the U.S., here's Jason Gatson on still rings. And remember, this is his first major international competition. He's only competed as a senior since this year. This is huge, gigantic pressure for Jason. And Tim, his coach, Ron Brandt, says he has a great work ethic, a great attitude towards this, the sport. And obviously, he is gaining such valuable international experience. And it starts here. For him, as you said, a huge competition. But starting off with Team USA on the rings, this is big pressure. Remember, he's just a high school junior. But because Jason is a little bit younger, those strength parts that we've been talking about, he doesn't really have them developed quite yet. But this is nice. Two major skills right to a handstand. We That'll give him some this. bonus skills. Yeah, we haven't seen that skill in this competition yet. And hold on tight. That, that's impressive right there, you know? So inexperienced, like we've been saying, and he was a little bit off on the landing, but he somehow held on. That, that's a good sign. The Chinese team now leading the competition. They move to the parallel bars. Here's Chen Zhenyu. One of the trends you're going to see on this event are double back summies, both backwards and forwards. It's a trend that started in the last four-year cycle, and it's pretty much stuck going into this cycle. 
what makes the Chinese team exceptional is not just one athlete performs, but the entire team does this particular skill right there. Ouch. Yeah, that, that one hurt, Tom. What should happen is he should get a little bit more rotated and it'll be just slightly less painful of a landing. But the rules are so demanding on this piece of apparatus. It takes so many difficult skills like that double back to bring in a big score. It's just an average routine. That's not gonna bring in that huge score. The Romanians are competing now on vault. Adrian Ionculescu will be first up for the Romanians. Had the lead after the first rotation, now in second place. And this is another strong event. I would say their second best event for the Romanian team would be vaulting. Jan Kulescu is planning to do a 10-0 start value vault, the only one in this competition. It's gonna be a tough one. Three flips, here we go. Oh, no way. He's a big guy and getting that rotation in, it just should have hung on a little longer. Yeah, you know, there was really no way that he was gonna get that around. Just doesn't get the rotation off of the horse that he needs. It's a lot to get done. Three flips. Frankly, I don't know what he's shaking his head about. I saw him do it about four times in warm-ups, and he didn't land it one time. Look at how many times you got to flip here. His knees are in his chest. He's cowboyed. He's trying to give himself every opportunity to complete the flip, but not enough. Score 9.4. Hey, Tom, this is, that, that's ridiculous. The, the start score is a 10 for that, but that is just way, way out of line, way too high. So Gatson's ring score, and now on rings, here's Steve McCain. One of the areas that I've seen some dramatic improvement from Steve is the strength part that we've been talking about. He looks a little bit stronger, actually has a very nice routine, shows some variety. Just a little bit high on these inverted crosses, but actually a lot better than I've seen Steve look. You know, Tim, he took that time off after the Olympic Games, was really disappointed with himself and says that he quit gymnastics mentally, but he credits his new coach, Doug Macy, with his new outlook on, on gymnastics, says that he's really helped him tremendously. Great dismount sequence here. That's as good as Steve McCain can do. The only deductions in the exercise were really the levelness of those strength parts. Doreen Petku of Romania now with his vault. Planning to do a vault with a start value of 9.8, so the Romanians need this score. As I said, very strong vaulting team. Good vault. Just that big step back on the landing, but this is going to do a lot for the Romanian effort here. Let's go back and uh, check the score. Chen's score on parallel bars, 8.55. Now on the bars for China, Libo. Remember, we've been talking about this new code of points all day long. Parallel bars, in my opinion, one of the most difficult events with the new rules to bring in that big score. One thing Lebo does so well are the double back flips, and he has one that he takes sky high. Well, that one right there, very nicely done. You know, show us a variety of elements in this routine. Very nicely done. What's so impressive is he keeps his knees together, toes pointed. That's remarkable. Three times he does that major element, one from a giant and two from a normal swing. Dismount. Big step on the landing, though. But once again, last, last four years, that would have been a huge scoring routine. That only starts from a 9.5. As I said, parallel bars. Really, really difficult event to bring in that major score. And you see the computers uh, pumping out McCain's ring score, 9.20. Coming up, Gary Denk of the U.S. on still rings.
We return to Cincinnati, the Romanian team in second place. And Tim, a lot of similarities between the U.S. and Romanian men's teams. Well, that's right. They've kind of toiled in the shadows of their more successful women's programs, both the Romanians and the U.S. men. And both uh, in search of some respect. Here's Gary Dink of the U.S. on rings. When the rules change, sometimes you go from being really good on an event to it not being so strong for you anymore, and that was definitely the case with Gary. Very strong in the cross position that he showed right on the top of his routine, but it has very little value in this set of rules. Right there, though, we've got a problem. He swings up to that handstand and doesn't hold it. That'll cost him some points on this exercise, no doubt about it. There are a few different strength parts that have a lot of value, and Gary just doesn't have them in the exercise. Dismount, not bad, but a big hop on the landing. You know, Gary was very disappointed not making the Olympic team last summer. He was 14th, said he didn't realize his, his dream, but he has the potential and the talent and the will to make it to 2,000, he feels. Here's the problem right here, though. He swings up to a handstand. Now, you've got to hold this part. Not even close right there. Falls out of it. Not only does he get the deduction for the fall, but he loses the bonus, and, and there's the score. Very low score for Gary Dink on still rings. The Romanian team strong in the vault and trying to recapture first place, Christian Larich. Yeah, the Romanians are really capitalizing on this event. They're very good, as we well know, but they're also going after the start values. They're doing the big vaults. This one's out of a 9.8. And he's the best vaulter on the team. Beautiful vault. That was great. Only deduction, the landing. We saw a great vault from the Chinese, the same vault, but this one definitely better. Chinese hold on first place, uh, threatened here by the big vaulting performance of the Romanians. And now on parallel bars, here's Wong Chin. So once again, we'll see somewhat of a punishing exercise. All of these skills that land on their upper arms. This is a nice skill coming take up right here. a little bit. Oh, he does that so well, but... You know, there's another perfect example, Tim. An easy move for him, I'm sure, but he lands with his legs down on the bar and takes a deduction. Silly mistake. Beautiful double back, though. He does that so well. One more time. You notice that he has no pads on his upper arms. There's no deduction for wearing them, but sometimes you just feel a little tougher if you go without them. <laughs> And written numbers on the back for the Chinese, improvising as they go. Yeah, Tom, the Chinese actually left their official numbers back at the hotel, and we even saw the coaches pinning numbers on before the meet started. Now John Roethlisberger, the metal hurdle of the pommel horse behind him, on the still rings. So once again, still rings is all about strength and all about exact positions. Major strength elements come right here. These are inverted crosses. Not, not bad, just a little bit high. Definitely held those positions for two seconds, which is critical. John, for many years, did a double twisting, double somersault. He'll only do a full twist here. So you got to stick the landing. Which he does. Two-time Olympian, John Roethlisberger. Now on the vault runway from Romania, Florentine Pescaru. No doubt about it, the Romanian team, one of the most powerful vaulting teams in the world today. He'll also do a 9-8 start value, 
which is not that easy to come by, folks. Another big vault, but that huge step on the landing, and that's going to cost him a bit. Unfortunately, you can do the great vault technically in the air. It can be beautiful as we're seeing right here, but it's so disappointing when you see such a large step on the landing. He's not going to get anywhere near the 9-8 that he would hope for. Instead, Pescaro gets a 9-5. Christian Larich with his earlier vault, 9.650. The Romanians continue to put up big numbers in the vault, and the Chinese trying to hold on. Here's Zhao Xin on parallel bars. And this is a jam-packed exercise here. Highest start value of the competition. Beautiful skill right there. Oh, struggling again. But he is nowhere near done. Here comes another major release. As I said, very well conditioned athletes. They're in great shape. Man. Just the dismount remaining. Double pike somersault. Probably the easiest part of his routine, and he takes quite a big step once again. That was a gigantic exercise. So much difficulty. And as the third rotation comes to a conclusion, let's check the score. John Roethlisberger on rings, only an 8.9. So now, midway through the competition, the Romanians have regained the lead from the Chinese and the U.S. even further behind. China, being chosen for the system is honorable. For the children, it's one of the best places to grow up. The path to honor and success in this country is long and the system pays to train its athletes. They are now, and always have been, professional gymnasts. In America, the amateur system gave way to the subsidized athlete in 1988. The first step, a small stipend for training. You're talking about being the best in the world. To work, you know, six, seven, eight hours a day, you have to have some sort of income to do that, because you can't get a job. This year at the national championships, the higher you finish, the more you'll earn. Money has become an incentive. I mean, I would like to be a gymnast as long as I could, you know, if I could, if I could get paid doing it. Now that the top gymnasts are being paid, they can compete longer. They don't need to leave the sport before their bodies peak. This can be their career. I'm 26 and I'm sticking around and, and it's not just because money or whatever, although that makes it 10 times easier than it would have otherwise. You know, I think people can't do gymnastics in particular just for money, but it's definitely gonna keep people interested in it longer and I think it's gonna help our team, you know, having older guys stay around it's just uh, I think that experience will help our, our program and Steve McCain at 23 years old hanging around and getting a stipend for training but approaching the sport with renewed enthusiasm after that trip to Africa after failing to make the US Olympic team last summer he is uh, getting ready for his vault as the US team moves to that apparatus and Tom, the U.S. have a tough act to follow. Remember, Romania just came off of this event. They posted some high scores, performed some very difficult vaults, and Steve is actually planning to do his one and only vault at start value out of a 9.6. It's a Yurchenko style. He'll do a round off onto the board. One and a half twists off. Very nicely done. Same step that we saw from all the Romanians, however. But as Elfie pointed out, this starts from two tenths lower than many of the vaults we saw the Romanians perform. Here's that half turn onto the board, leaves the horse, one and a half, twists. 
and a two-tenth step forward. And Steve's score, 9.350. And you see just behind him, 16-year-old Jason Gatson taking uh, his place at the end of the vault runway. This is a great vault. He's the only athlete performing this in the competition. In my opinion, it's an undervalued vault. This only starts once again from a 9.6, but very, very difficult. And on top of the power that you need, it's a totally blind landing. Handspring laid out front. That's cool. Great ball. And as you mentioned, Tim, the blind landing, you really have to know where your body is in the air on that particular style of vault because, boy, it can go either way. So flipping forwards the entire way here, has to keep his body completely stretched in the air. Very nicely done, and oh, just the smallest little step on that landing. And Jason with a 9.250. You know, Tom, you always are bound by the rules, the code of points. It's not valued out of a 10, only 9.6. That's why he got the score he got. The Romanians now on parallel bars. Jan Kulescu ready for his routine. And this will be nowhere near as comfortable for the Romanians as their last event vault was. I said a little bit earlier, parallel bars, I feel is probably the most difficult event to get those bonus points with these new rules. We're certainly not going to see as great difficulty as we just saw from the Chinese athletes. Once again, when the new rules come out, sometimes it takes an athlete a little bit of time to figure it all out. And they've actually gone a very conservative route on parallel bars. That routine starts at a 9-2. His last event vault, remember, he was starting out of a 10. And now Olympian John McCready, who trains at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. Well, the first two U.S. athletes started out of 9.6s. This vault for John is only out of a 9.4. That's maximum. And a nice vault. You know, he can really do this vault in his sleep. I'm surprised. Took that step back on the landing. Jan Kulescu on parallel bars, only an 8.55. You know, that is interesting, Tom. He hits his parallel bar routine just about, just about as well as he can do on vaulting one event before, has a major mistake and scores a point higher. His teammate Orzika now on parallel bars. He has his own skill named after him. It'll come right here. This is absolutely beautiful. Full twisting dive roll. Oh. That's nice. Unfortunately, I'm getting all happy here, but this routine does not meet the rules even closely. A lot of form deductions as well, Tim, with his own skill and some other difficult elements, but he's just giving away points with separated legs and steps on the landing. And only a maximum score of 9.1. Chinese are on high bar. Here's Chung Leong. So didn't I say that parallel bars was the most difficult event to bring in that big score? The next most difficult event is high bar. You're going to see athletes trying to do some major releases right here. It's a Kovacs. Oh, that was amazing. One hand was not even on the bar. I tell you, we're kind of just hanging out here. And he was a scared hombre for a while there. That was, that was, that was radical. Oh. Now, do we have to say it again? They've got the skills, they have the talent, but just can't put it all together. Just shouldn't happen. Just shouldn't happen. He's too good. And that dismount is actually too easy for an athlete of his capabilities. The Chinese and the Romanians struggling at the moment. Orzika only 8.7. Maybe the U.S. can move closer. That'll help McCready 9.15. 
Tom Hammond, Tim Daggett, Elfie Stegel, Beth Ruyak again in Cincinnati. International team competition in gymnastics. The Chinese team at one time had the lead. They've been struggling lately. The U.S. trying to make up some ground there in third place. Here's Jay Thornton ready for his vault. Jay will do a Yurchenko with one and a half twist. His start value is 9.6. None of the U.S. athletes go higher than 9.6 on vaulting with their start value. Oh, he almost had that one. Nice vault, just a small hop. Looked like he was going to be the first athlete of the day to stick the vault. From Romania, Christian Larich on parallel bars. These guys have their work cut out for them. Remember the first two athletes that went up posted scores of 8.55, 8.7. So we, we have yet to see a Romanian gymnast get a 9.0 on this event. Well, it's a tough event to get a nine on. Same skill we've been seeing the Chinese perform all day long, but not done half as nicely. Good landing, though. Still comes down to not getting deductions as well, and he maximized just a bit there. And let's return to the high bar for China's Chen Jianyu. These guys, as I said earlier in the show, are all unknowns. We have never seen them before. They have very little international experience, and that's really been one of the problems of the Chinese athletes in the past is they just can't put it together in international events. They may be able to do it at home, but bring them outside of their country and they fall to pieces. Big release right here. This is a Kovacs. Nicely done. Need the dismount remaining. Nice dismount, double to... And you know, I think his knees went down there. And that's a big deduction if they actually hit the ground and look to me as they did. Well, a moment ago, Jay Thornton of the U.S. on his vault was scored at 9.40. So the U.S. is uh, making up some ground as we saw the Romanians do earlier on the vault. It's been a good event for the U.S. John Roethlisberger next. John will do a double twisting Sukahara. He'll do it in a tucked position. We've seen this vault by both a Chinese and a Romanian gymnast. Because it's in tuck, his start score is 9-6. Oh, baby. That, that was amazing that he hung on to that vault. He was so under-rotated, his forehead almost hit the floor, and I can't believe he didn't put his hands down. Larich only an 8.9. On parallel bars. And here's his teammate, Sandro Nistor. Typically in gymnastics competition, you save your better gymnast for the end. Nistor has the best potential score for the Romanians. Does that very well on this event. Oh, boy. That's a perfect example. See, this is what happens. That's a highly valued skill. Would have brought in some bonus points. That combination, if successful, would have been great. But if you can't make it, you certainly shouldn't do it. Now he looks a little bit rattled walking around in that handstand. It's too bad because that was a potential very big routine for Romania. That's going to hurt. They needed some big scores, Tim, and this routine we're not going to see anywhere near 9.0. John Roethlisberger scored at 9.10 on his vault. P-bars. Jason, Gary, Steve, Jay, John. Head coach Ron Brandt going over the order for the next event. He told me before the meet, don't know why, Tim, but I just got a good feeling about today. There's Chen's high bar score. And now on high bar... We see Wong Shin. Remember, the first two athletes from this country went down on the dismount. It's not over until your feet are firmly planted after the dismount. 
I was actually surprised that they put this athlete up so late in the lineup. He's actually a very nice looking gymnast. Show his release skill right here. Deals with it well. But really does not have the level of difficulty that you need to bring in a big score. Now this is difficult to do, folks. This is a very difficult event, challenging exercise. And once again, we're seeing it all day long. His maximum score, 9.0 on this event. And as the teams march on to the new apparatus, we are down to only two rotations remaining in the competition. Romania still leads, but the U.S. has moved closer. Welcome back to Cincinnati, where the U.S. team, once nearly four and a half points behind, is back in the meet. And, you know, just last year with the old rules, 1.8 would have been impossible for the USA to get into the top spot. But now it's still anybody's ball game. Here's young Jason Gatson of the U.S. on parallel bars. This is one of Jason's better events. Does a lot of interesting elements, very intricate work. None of the major release type skills that we've seen from some of the Chinese, but very, very difficult and worth a lot. Nice skill right there. Now watch this right here. This all happens very quickly. Lots of combination work. Hop right to the side of the bar. Very nicely done. Dismount, double somersault. You know, he has been totally unfazed by this competition. Remember, his first international event, and he has done exactly what the coaches have asked him to do. Nice. 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 Large, baby. Nice. Awesome. The Romanian team with a tenuous hold on first place now as Urzika with his high bar routine. You know, just moments ago, he had big problems in the warm-up. A release skill that comes right off the bat. Very, very difficult. He'll do it in combination and then do a skill called a death. It's a flyaway with one and a half twists. It's right here, but he doesn't do it. Takes it out of his routine. Only does a flyaway with a half turn much easier. Second very difficult release skill coming up right here with a full twist. Real tricky. No. Oh. oh. Not even close. Yeah, you could see right from the start there, his heels just didn't get far enough over his head. The object is obviously to keep the body close enough to the bar so that you can regress. That means the legs must be shooting almost over the top of the bar, and it's not even close. Thank you, coach. So that is a fall for the Romanian team. Remember, you are able to drop the lowest score. Rosica struggling today on Palma Horse's best event and now high bar. It has been a disappointing afternoon for Rosica, hurting the Romanians' chances of holding on to that lead. Here's Chen Zhen Yu, who takes the floor exercise. Now, these guys have traditionally been very strong on the floor exercise, but, you know, the U.S. is getting so close to this team, they can't afford the same type of mistakes that they just experienced on high bar. But it is a different game, and right there, he's way off. In the past code of points, it would not have been such a disaster, but he was supposed to do a pass that would have given him five-tenths of bonus, and instead, he picks up a deduction and he only gets one tenth back. What that means is China is struggling here on the floor exercise. You know, every time they get into this situation where they need to be a little bit more aggressive, they get tentative. They get worried about making another mistake and because they approach it that way, they do make another mistake. This is a weak exercise for China on floor. Oh. 
Chinese continue to struggle, as do the Romanians, while the U.S. seems to be the team with momentum at the moment. The parallel bar score a moment ago for Jason Gatson, 8.950. Not a great score for him. Will that hurt the U.S. in its catch-up mode? Well, right now we've just seen a fall from Romania, and I'm sure the Chinese score is going to be lower than that, so actually it might not be that bad for the USA squad. Larich here on high bar. His release skill, very nicely done. He does three in a row right here. A little bit crooked. And his second full turn over the bar. Supposed to keep that skill going and actually do one and a half twists, but didn't quite get it around. Somewhat unorthodox dismount. Travels over the bar. And a moment ago, a Chen score on floor exercise was 8.3, only 8.3. Here's his teammate, Lee Bo. And you know this team, when you're counting four scores, you would like to drop an 8.3. Well, that's remarkable. He mounted with a double back. It's way too easy. But this is the critical pass right here. Actually, very little bonus. Same oh. skill we saw from Steve McCain at the start of the competition. Gets lots of bonus points. A little bit of a struggle on his plans. You are required to do element similar to that a strength hold no way this routine can get a big score just not enough difficulty there and a very simple exercise Tom this is exactly what I've been talking about when they get into a situation where they really need to perform, they get conservative. They start taking elements out of their routines, and sometimes they start doing things they haven't been practicing, and they make mistakes on top of it as well. This opens the door a little bit for the USA. Rotation 5 continues in Cincinnati on the high bar. Christian Leirich, 8.750. The Romanians definitely are struggling. Or Zika's score, even worse, 8.250. And they certainly cannot afford another mistake here. They've already got two. That means they are counting a fall. And he has got a very tricky exercise. Remember a little earlier, or Zika took a skill out of his routine. He does the exact same combination. Happens right here, right into one and a half twist. No! Oh, oh. Once again saw it right from the beginning body just moving too far away from that bar this is disastrous for this Romanian team doesn't get his feet over his head high enough and his body travels too far away from the bar five tenths of a point another major break for team Romania that was one of the most dreaded sounds in gymnastics, that bar vibrating after the fall. And you know, I know from experience what that feels like. It is a terrible sound. Another release. Hangs on to that, but will incur some deductions as well. This is bad news for Romania. Dismount here. Big step, not only back, but off to the side. That's another two tenths. It's like they just lost that momentum after such a great vaulting event. P-bars didn't go as well as planned, and now high bar, disastrous. Three falls in a row. Come on, Go, man. Yeah, the U.S. team at once looked like they were going to finish a badly beaten third. Go, now they're right in the middle of it. Let's go, Jay. Here's Jay Thornton on parallel bars. Once again, this is not a high-scoring event with the new rules. Skills like that, though, that don't look that difficult, get him a tenth of a point, and if you do them in combination, get you another tenth.
think if you're going to compare the U.S. routines with the Chinese, let's say, who are the best in the world on this apparatus, there's a fluidness to the Chinese routines. They seem to get through it with such ease and skills like right there, that little bit of a break, a small pause, it just sort of breaks up the momentum of the routine. Hop on the landing there, that'll cost a tenth of a point. But at this point in time, Team USA is at least hitting their routines where Romania and China, they're falling all over the place. Jay didn't look that happy with his performance and now John Roethlisberger will take the parallel bars. seen John struggle on this event at times this is where he spends the most time during a workout is on parallel bars difficult combination for him coming up right here oh. and he just couldn't hang on to that one able to at least salvage it and not have a major fall, but going to be at least two to three tenths deduction. Struggling once again on the form of a handstand, a very simple move. Well, not as disastrous as we've seen from some of the other competitors in this rotation, but certainly not what Team USA wanted right now. And Roethlisberger obviously upset. He is just way too far back on that skill. Doesn't have enough power to complete the entire hop pirouette. But it's remarkable that he gets right back on track almost instantly. Roethlisberger, 8.7 his score. Jay Thornton had an 8.65, so... The U.S. stalling a little bit in its comeback. As earlier, Lee Bo of China, 8.7 on his floor exercise. And now for the floor exercise, Zhang Li Wei. They need a big performance. Well, they certainly do. And he actually is capable of doing it. That was great. Now, this is exactly what they need to do. We've seen a number of the Chinese athletes take that pass out of their routine because of that lose those bonus points and then also gain some deductions on top of it all because they want to play it safe they just don't know what the, else to oh, do. this is bad right here really bad <laughs> once again I, I almost can't even believe it that is a required element that you need on a floor exercise routine that is a mandatory four tenth deduction because he did not hold his plan I, I can't believe it Unbelievable, unbelievable. The dismount here, but it almost doesn't even matter. Full twisting double somersault. He's such a tremendous athlete. He can hold that thing in his sleep. If that was me walking off the floor, Tom, I'd be walking the other way, away from my teammates, away from my coach. I don't know. And they won't even make eye contact with him, will they? They know that the Chinese team is struggling. They had their problems on the floor. The Romanians fell off the bar. The U.S. floundered on P-bars. We move to the final rotation. Who wants it? We've reached the final rotation in the international team gymnastics competition. At one time, the U.S. squad was badly in third place, trailing by almost four and a half points. But they have come back to get right in the middle of things. The Romanian team, they had a solid lead at one point. They've fallen on hard times, and ditto for the Chinese. This is a competition that will come down to this final rotation. And for young Jason Gatson of the United States, uh, what an experience this has been, his first international competition, and he's been up to the challenge. Well, I'll tell you, Tom, this has been an impressive debut for this youngster. He has certainly done exactly what he's been capable of doing. The, the coaches just said, hey, just do your job, totally unfazed by who's out there. So this has been an amazing competition for him. One rotation to go, the Romanians in first place, 
China second, U.S. third, but still the title up for grabs. And Jason will not have a major release in this exercise, but he still has to let go of the bar. And that's very, very risky. As Elfie said, tremendous amount of pressure. He'll get most of his bonus, though, right from this first sequence right here. Three skills in a row. New coat of point values them very highly. Here comes that release. No problem. That's uh, the Romanian's downfall. That release, we saw several of them fall. But Jason's didn't appear to be quite as difficult. Well, certainly nowhere near as difficult as some of the releases we've seen. But nowadays, those releases are only a very small factor of a high bar score. That's one of the first stuck landings we've seen in this competition. Yeah, baby, you do. You're not a neo fight anymore, big guy. Woo! Well, he's been competing like a veteran. John Roethlisberger even called him big guy. The Chinese move to the pommel horse for their final rotation. Here's Chung Leung. And this should be a great event for the Chinese team. They are the best in the world on pommel horse as a group. Swing so oh, un absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I saw this guy all week long. He is so good on pommel horse. He fell off before he even got started. If we could just show you the tapes of their practice sessions, you could see exactly why they should win these competitions. But unfortunately, they don't put it together when it counts. Well, look, I mean, he's having absolutely no problem right now. It's beautiful gymnastics. If you could erase the first six seconds of his routine, this would be a great exercise. But you fall off the horse, it's five-tenths of a point automatically. And once again, a familiar scenario from the Chinese, unrealized potential. And you know, Tom, sometimes I'd like to see him get a little more mad. Gets an 8.9 on the high bar, and now Steve McCain, high bar routine. And this should be awesome, but it's a lot of pressure. We said that Gatson really doesn't have the major releases, while well, Steve has a whole bunch of them planned. He'll do a major release right in the beginning, called a Kovacs, and then he's supposed to be attempting a Kovacs into another release. It's huge. ecstatic after the routine and so are his teammates. Oh, baby. You got that first one on your fingertips. Get the fire. <laughs> oh, nice, man. Awesome. Oh, nice. Awesome. Loved it. Yeah. Okay. Fingertip control, but I tell you, when this guy's on, he's awesome. He swings high bar, plays high bar as good as anybody in the world when he's on. Look at that, right on his fingertips. That's the first one. This is what's totally incredible. He'll do that same release skill. This is called a Kovacs. He's got to catch exactly in the right spot, fly through the air again. That is awesome. And here's McCain's score. I was getting ready to land that floor, man. That's I was just like, 9.20. That is prime time. It's actually a big score, Tom, on high bar. Remember the scores we've been seeing all day long. Chung with a low score on Pommel Horse, and now the Romanians trying to hold on to first place. Here's Petku with his floor exercise. You know, these Romanians can't get too relaxed here on this final event. They should be a little bit nervous. They need only look over their shoulders down to high bar to see that the U.S. has hit two for two. That was actually very nicely done, that pass. Also worth five tenths of bonus. Nice. 
I've always thought of the Romanian men as being a very solid team. Don't typically see them having as many mistakes as they showed us on high bar. And there's a problem right there, though. He's supposed to keep that circle moving. And this is quite interesting. I I'll tell you, some of the mistakes that are happening in this competition, I I'm just very surprised at. He did a wide arm handstand. It is a required element to do a strength part. In, m in my opinion, it was nowhere near wide enough to get credit, so it's another four-tenth deduction. <laughs> And that right there, that's another huge mistake. Well, with the title on the line, both the Romanians and the Chinese have faltered. And next we will move to the pommel horse, where we see Zhang Liwei. And this team is definitely capable of putting a tremendous amount of pressure on both Romania and the USA. They have the goods to get it done on pommel horse. They just need to be aggressive here. that one pommel work and he is already way off very uncharacteristic to see such form breaks as we're seeing here this stuff is very very difficult but as you mentioned Elfie those knees bending and the excessive pike in the hips automatic deductions Oh, he almost fell off the horse on a travel down. Of course, they all add up. And a basic dismount did, did an easier dismount than he planned to do. And then he took a hop on top of it. So he loses a tenth for that. And because he doesn't do a dismount with enough value, gets a deduction on top of it as well. Can the U.S. take advantage of the other's mistakes? When we return, John McCready on high bar. Welcome back to Cincinnati as we approach the end of the final rotation. The title hanging in the balance and a sparse crowd here in Cincinnati. Too bad they're missing a real competition. And what a story it would be if the U.S., which once trailed badly, can come back to take the title. They have a chance. Here's John McCready on high bar. This is actually a very stable routine for Team USA. He gets a lot of his tents from skills like this. You do them in combination. Brings him a lot of points, does it very well. His, his release skill, not difficult, very stable though. The key in the end here has been who makes the mistake and who's there to capitalize. So far it's been Team USA capitalizing. Oh, he fought and fought. Yeah, John thought he actually had that landing. But they're definitely going to take that one. And the U.S. continues to have the momentum here in the final rotation. From Romania, Petku on floor exercise, a low score, 8.450. Now Jan Kulescu on floor exercise, and the Romanians desperately need a big performance here. And this is a guy that can do it. He's got the goods to get it done. Very, very difficult exercise. He'll start out with one of those 5 tenth bonus passes. When you do things in combination, very, very tricky. Everything has to be right on. And they're not. You see, he puts his hands down. That is a major deduction. Really unfortunate when you have a major mistake on an element. Not only do you have the deduction, but you lose the bonus for the skill. Another one right here. Oh. And what this means, Tim, is it looks like they're going to be counting an 8.45. Yeah, I would say that this routine isn't even going to get into the eights. You know, that last mistake, that, that was just concentration.
Small hop on the landing, but no big deal compared to what happened in the first pass and then in his third pass. And Jan Kulescu shaking his head in disappointment, unable to come through with the good routine that the Romanians needed. John McCready's score on high bar, 9.10. And the U.S. team can smell victory here. Here is the uh, final U.S. performer, John Rocklisberger, on high bar. And if there was a guy that I'd like to pick, if I was coaching the team in this position, who I'd want, it'd be good old J.R., John Rocklisberger, no question about it. John's only release skill in the exercise, no problem. The rest of it's all just timing. Critical combinations like right there, no problem. John's dismount. John Roethlisberger, look at that. He did hit one out of the park with that high bar routine, and the U.S. team, desperately in search of that international respect, may have taken a big step here in Cincinnati. One Romanian, one Chinese remain. Here's Pescaru on floor exercise, needing 8.375. An 8375 should be a breeze for this athlete. That's really not a, a, a huge amount for this exercise. He should be able to get it, no problem. But I'll tell you what we've seen all day long, it might not be that easy. And right there, that's called conservatism. Was supposed to do a more difficult element. But it might be the right approach here. As Elfie said, that is not a big score. Just has to avoid a major mistake. Mm, there's one. Like that. like that one. Exactly. That alone puts it in very, very dangerous territory for Romania. Gonna be close at this point, though. Once again, that's questionable right there, whether, whether or not that skill is low enough. In my book, that is not low enough. Dismount, step back on the landing, and I'll tell you, I don't know. I see the mistake, the fall, and the third pass, and then I see, on a, the landing. I see a very questionable strength part. No doubt here, though, this is five-tenths of a point, and he loses a tenth bonus, so that right there, at least six-tenths deduction. And he did make it 7.950. That will eliminate the Romanians from any chance of winning the competition, and it may mean that Team USA has come from third to take the title. They await one more performance. Chinese Wong Shin on pommel horse, needing 9.625. And from what we've seen today, Tom, that is a very big score. Remember, every gymnast chooses the routine that he's going to perform. And you need elements that have bonus to give you a high start value. He does some very tricky skills right there. So far, though, he is nowhere near getting enough bonus points back. No, he can't do it, Tom. He can't do it. There's no way his start score is going to be too low. They will not win this competition. And so the U.S. team now only awaits that score to make it official. It looks like the United States will have made a near miraculous comeback as they have seen both the Chinese and the Romanians falter as they gathered momentum throughout the competition. Here's the final score, yes, 8.650, and the U.S. has won. Beth? You know what the winnings, the winning team tonight was? What? It's the USA. You won. Yeah. Yeah. 
And while the Americans celebrate, the Chinese must ponder another failed opportunity. And for the Romanians, a chance they were in first place but could not hold on when the pressure was applied. The U.S. team, international respect, well, partly after this victory in Cincinnati. Final standings, the U.S., Romania second, and China third. We'll be back. NBC's Sports World is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Remember, there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. By John Hancock Worldwide Sponsor. Insurance for the unexpected. Investments for the opportunities. And by Nicorette Gum. Now available without a prescription. You can do it. Nicorette can help.